Good afternoon, dear partners, dear colleagues, dear investors, haters, trolls, friends, foes. Hello to the prosecutor's office, the Department for Fighting Against Economic Crimes. Have good holidays, because they are also celebrating holidays. Today we will work from a different angle, I mean the cameraman. Well, you are used to seeing myself and Alexander in these armchairs. Well, you see chroma key behind me. If we come here, we will see that the cameraman usually work here, sound engineers work there, sound engineers, sound technicians, directors work here. These are their working places. And they work from here during our webinars and during our programs. I guess that you see all of it for the first time. Lights and all the rest. This is what it looks like. So for you to see quality picture, several people are working simultaneously on that. But today we will not only show you this, we will show you something that you were interested in before. It is how we develop things. So we will leave this room, cameraman's room, and it will take us couple of minutes to get there. Let's go to an interesting place. Let's switch on the light. And here you can see some interesting things. If you look closer, they are home appliances, boxes where home appliances used to be. And here we see starters. A whole box of rotors is there, rotors from our motors. The interior part of motors that we substitute. Here we put things that we are not using at the moment, things for testing. Another room, I guess that you have already seen some things here. What is of interest here? A plate, a whole box of them. It is assembly. An employee of ours works on that. Assembly of controllers is performed here. Her name is Tatiana. Different components. So this is her working place. And here, garage units are assembled. This is the remaining batch of them, and this will be it. We will sell it. How is this room related to motors that we install and to asynchronous motors, to traction motors? This machine is very interesting. It is a station for magnetizing resin-bonded magnets. It has been developed and manufactured by us. This installation is really interesting. Here you see different pieces for it. What is the purpose of it? In the automatic mode, sensors of encoders made of resin-bonded magnet are magnetized by this machine. It has allowed us to get free from Chinese deliveries, from foreign deliveries. Magnetization, designers, technology people, they work on it. And it is mostly ready. We don't need big mechanization yet. It is sufficient for our current work. These capacities are sufficient for us for the moment. Having developed it, we have resolved a very big problem. Another little machine. Its purpose is to control sensors. 
There is a present bonded magnet here, which has already been magnetized. A plate is put there. And then you look at the oscilograph to examine how sensors are working. Let's move on. Now we are entering a crazy place. It is designer's department. People are working. If we look here, then we will see that printing of another part has just finished. Top view is even better. A part for a device. Prototyping is happening here. Another machine. Many things are here. The donor. Here it is. You see that the interior has been removed from it. It is a lawnmower. And Sergei has parts next to him. He is working on that. Developments on the motor, which is inserted in this lawnmower. Here on top, there is a controller. The controller meant for replacing the American one. Welcome it. 20 kilowatt and this one the same. You can compare them. This is of our production. We need to produce it, to have serious production of it, but we will need more effort for that. Some more options. Here ports are slightly different. This prototype is quite old. It is like a historic artifact. Maybe you remember motor wheel 317. It is still there. It is living its own life, it seems. Another machine. A mill. They are working on it as well. Here we can see status, the finished status, status with rotors, Interskull company products. Here we see the world products and all of that is now equipped with our drives drives for our motors sergey look come closer close the door and come closer an interesting thing here all our designers names are sergey's come here Another interesting product here, it is a pump for pumping fuel from a barrel. It is a refueler, a refueling device. The guys are remaking it. Another working place here. You can see different fittings here, samples and specimens. It is the Zubra device. Zuber company, Interskull company, device, and a cross-cutting saw. Here it is. This is how it is assembled. They are prototypes for conducting preliminary tests. They are preliminary solutions. You know, producing them in metal straight away does not make sense. So this cross-cutting saw, it is disassembled. One of the parts below it will remain like this, and this part will be removed. Length of the motor will change. It will allow to incline the table in both ways, 45 degrees, which will improve consumer properties and the quality of this device, and which will regulate the number of revolutions. And another interesting thing, 
I hope that you remember that. This is the wheel motor. It is disassembled. Why is it here? Because it is being worked on. Very interesting work. After this room, we will go down and we will show you the process of preparation for pouring rotors using aluminium instead of copper, which allows to decrease the weight of the motor wheel. And secondly, it will allow us to create other types of products, other motors. Their supply to Russia has now stopped, and demand for them is critical. I will unveil it a little bit. I will show you some cards. We did it on the construction side, and we will do it again now. I am speaking about lift hoists without the reduction gear. There, where there are no reduction gears, where belts are put directly on the pulley. This allows to make lifts without shafts on the roof. They make little noise. Oil fuel does not penetrate there. They are very clean, they have glass cabins, they are great lifts. So we have now looked right in the heart, one of the hearts, we have many hearts here, where the future is being determined. And we see that today we lack space. All of that could be put in production. You see that they are not just separate units. There are rotors here, rotors there. Quite many of them. We produce dozens of them already, and even more. That is it. We have outgrown our old clothes. And I will show you something else for comparison, for you to understand how our technologies are different from regular ones. This is a stator of the cross-cutting saw that I showed to you a couple of minutes ago. This is what is currently installed, and this is ours. Compare them. Can you see the difference? Is it in our favor or not? Here is the difference, and all the rest as well. And now we will go on the ground floor. Another thing, different prototypes are here on the shelves that we test, that we verify, and that we pour in the metal form. Let's spend some more time here. Come here, please. We have these interesting things here. Here they are here as well. This is part of that state of that rotor. You see how big it is compared to ours. They are half-finished products or templates prepared to move forward. I will show you one more example. Motor wheel rotor, do you remember it? We used to have those plates, now we have such plates. You see that they are segments. They are closed in a lock. I will show them this way. You see, they lock between themselves and they make one single wheel. And on the outside, you see, there are like little bumps there, in order to avoid movement inside the casing of the rotor. We used to have such cases, so it is done to overcome them. Another solution, different things here, very interesting things here. It is all about technologies, technologies. And all of it requires more space now. If we finished construction now, everything would come here. And we would launch a line for producing motors to be installed. Because you know equipment that designers have developed, we don't have any space to put it in. Let's go down. We are now on the ground floor. And let's start with the laboratory. 
have a little problem there. So, we see the process going on in the laboratory, several machines. This machine, a motor with phase rotor, Siemens with brakes. This is being tested now. Parts of a technological unit. Very interesting. We will speak about that in the future. And let's go here. It is the most interesting part. This thing there. Again, it is Interskol company, Interskol donor. It is being tested. Temperature sensors, control is connected, controllers, motors. We create different modes, really rough modes. It is not just testing, you know, it is a real attempt to kill it. We create really harsh conditions that could happen when this machine is being operated. There is this job, you know, a tester. Their task is to kill it, to murder it, and to identify which part collapsed. This is what they're working on. They were asking us about the angle grinder, like when, when? Well, we are advancing at a really high pace. And you saw yourselves how many plates it requires for the assembly. And we already have the assembled ones, the mounted ones. So the process is ongoing. The process is very active. All employees are involved in that. Now it is lunchtime and we try not to disturb them when they are working. Because there is noise here. It is almost impossible to record any videos. Here is the variable speed drive for power supply. Motors of intermittent current of different frequency, cooling machine. When it is functioning, it makes such a noise, such roar, like from an airplane. Because other machines, they have water cooling systems and we don't have the same disturbances with them. This is it. So it is about testing. And we don't just test one machine. Another thing here, another device, an option of it. Here is yet another one with all its intestines on the outside, so to speak. But this one has not yet been killed. Some other solutions are being verified. As for this casing, we are working on the solution for this casing to be able to order it, the press mode, I mean, and to take into account all the requirements, all the possible situations, all the edge cases, not to say later, like we have forgotten this, we have missed that. We should not permit that, we should not allow that, because otherwise it would be very expensive. This part is to change, by the way. The node of the bearing is to be fixed here, it used to be there. This motor is shorter. If we put a rotor there, so we had to shift the bearing node. We have to take into account such things. Another thing, you see the rotor, we'll put it there. And then the reduction gear. And the ventilator. These are the problems that we have to solve. All the shafts that are here, they have already been drawn, all the designs are created, and we can start casting them, because the installation series is ready. Let's move on. Now let's enter here. There is a creative mess here. We will show you one interesting thing, a technological thing. Guess what it is? It is a furnace for low pressure casting. It will allow us to cast rotors in the automated, robotized modes, both automated and robotized. 
The volume here is, well, 60 kilos. We have 0.5 each. So, 120 pieces for casting. What is it? A motor wheel again. Why? What would it mean? Let's move on. Here we see a range of motors. We are working with them as well. Here on the shelves you see Mr. Aristov's motors. These are our motors, traction motors and general industrial motors. E3, energy efficiency class. Verified in the laboratory, well tested. Let's go here. Alexei is cutting it. You see different segments. Somebody was saying that 318 had been forgotten. No, that person was wrong. It's just that we did not have the technological possibility. Look, we have it here and there. Let's look there. Look how many borders we have there, stators as well, of different sizes. You can observe all of it here. Whole lots of them here and there. Work is continuing, very intense work. What about here? We can see our past here. This is what it used to be. Just imagine how much metal was required for that. To what extent technologies were lacking? But back then we could not do it in different way. We did not have technologies. We did not have the opportunities we have now. But this is past already. This is what we used to have. And now another option. And you can imagine how little metal is needed for that one. And what does it mean? It is cost reduction. It is what we are aiming for. Because it is not a problem to make something. The problem is to make it at a price that would help people not to waste their money on overpriced things. Now, let's come here. Things are a way more interesting here. This is what we can see here. Please bring a ring. Other rings. They are the so-called models. No, that one, the rotor one. The ring for the rotor. They are all casting technologies. They are all lying here. They are cast rotors, which are to be inserted, not treated yet. Man, I can show you this one. This is what it looks like. It is the form for a molding channel, a model, where you put a pack, then it is formed, it is cast, and then you pour aluminium there. So first you master this technology, this mode, and then we get to that unit 318. That was the precursor of the modern rotors we have. They weigh a lot, but they belong to the past now. They have performed their tasks. They showed that this technology is realizable. Now we will do things differently. Another thing, maybe you remember it. This is another project, number 186. We have not forgotten anything. It is all being worked on. The scale of work which is being performed it is so tiny as compared to what we used to have. It is not comparable. Well, I'm joking. We did not used to have such opportunities. 
and investment only and participation of all of you allowed us to do all of it. There is no other way. And let's not make things up. Another project which is awaiting its turn, it is the future of traction motors, but I will not unveil the essence of it yet. There are many fittings lying here as well. More fittings there. They are the so-called casting boxes. Here you see how much metal we have. All of it will be processed. It will be processed. Another thing we could look at made of silicone to be able to cast things, to pour things. And it has become possible because we have all this equipment. For example, we have a furnace. We have a granulator. Look. These pieces of aluminium and such pieces as well. It allows us to melt them into pellets and achieve more precise weighing. Here we have remainders of molding channels. They are to be processed as well. And now come closer, please. You can see preparation. Preparation for pouring Rhoda 318. It is being prepared now. The casting box itself is in the cabinet. Yesterday we performed dehydration of physically bound moisture, now chemically bound moisture but at a higher temperature, and then we will perform smelting. Smelting of material. And that will be it. An installation for low pressure casting. We have just looked at it. There is this thing for it. It is a transformer. This is the inducer itself. Everything will be melted with high frequency current. It is the cheapest means of doing that. You know, in the past I managed to bring down energy consumption in a mechanization unit from 37.5 kilowatt per hour per kilogram of costing down to 2.5 and here we will bring it down to 0 0.9 and the theoretical limit is 0 0.45. You can calculate yourself by what extent it is lower. Here we have 0 0.5 kilos, 0 0.5 kilowatt per hour. In terms of energy consumption, 0 0.5 costs how much? 4 rubles, right? 2 rubles, for example, plus costs in terms of the molding channel. In total, it is about 3 rubles. Is it a lot or is it little? what we used to make from copper, you know, it is three to four times. So really it is not comparable. So here is work that is happening here as of today. Here is some stock of aluminium for smelting a lot of it, which has been prepared. I will show you one more thing. Very interesting things. This is the melting furnace to melt forming paraffin, the forming wax. This is the vacuum installation where there is vacuuming and removal of bubbles during the process of pouring. All of it, which is here, which has been done, it is done thanks to the investors' funds, thanks to the efforts which have been made, mental efforts of the team, of Savalmash team, and this is reality. You saw for yourself what was done there and what we have here. And which is the most important thing here? It is not even metal. It is rather documents and technology, the modes, everything which has been tested, done, prepared and verified, checked. This is the most important part of it. The drawings, technological maps, they will have the letter O, O1. It means that it has been verified. They are not ideas, they are not hypotheses. It has been done. And I will show you one more thing, not to have any illusions. Can you see this kit? 318. 
It is waiting. I think that very, very soon, well, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, let's not speak about plans, let's speak about them once they have been realized. We will see the new thing and many more interesting things based on this piece. So thank you very much to all of you. Have a good weekend. I wish you a good holiday, the 9th of May, Great Victory Day. I wish you good health and good luck. Everything will be great. Goodbye.